All right, this is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. And I want to show you what's going on across the street from me. Like two or three years ago, after we moved in here, in the middle of nowhere to get away from shit, found out at the town meeting they were supposed to be putting a, they wanted to put a solar field across the street. No, man, I got fog or something on here. So yeah, they wanted to put a solar field across the street. But it's pine lands, uh, wetlands, they can't really do anything back there. Can you hear all that noise? So anyway, we all voted, the town voted. The people that bought the property, well, the guy that owns it, they were trying to put a house on like these nine acres across the street from me. But since it's pine lands and wetlands, they couldn't get a permit to do it. They sold a couple acres to a company in North Jersey to put a solar field in. Out here in the middle of nowhere, a solar field. What it's going to solar, I don't know. Or what it's going to power, I don't know. So, we all went to the town meeting. We put a kibosh on it. It's not going to happen. And the main reason is they couldn't get the permits and stuff they needed to do it because of pine lands. Woke up this morning to all this noise. Let me see if we can flip this around here. All right, I can't turn it around. For some reason, that phone's all... That, when I flip it around, it gets all blurry. Maybe it's humidity. But I woke up, and they're out here doing this right across the street from my house. Can you see this? You see what they're doing here? Hold on here. Can you see this right here? The neighbor called and said you're doing something across the street. Last year they were out here doing stuff and they were planting blueberry bushes or something out here. They were planting blueberry bushes out here last year, a year and a half ago. And now, they're clearing all this area. And this is, right. here's my driveway right here. Here's my driveway, my house, <laughs> my mailbox, a nice field. And this right here, they want to put a solar field. Evidently, they weren't allowed to because of zoning and the wetlands and <sighs> my wife called or left a message for the woman at the town hall and we got a response said it looks like they're moving forward with the solar field so we move out here to get away from this shit and uh you can't now how are they getting permission to do this when everything Supposedly, uh, you can't get a permit, but they're going to put a solar field in anyway. Now, they were talking about putting a, a retirement community or whatever at the end of our, I don't know, a couple miles on the highway or something. That got stopped because of, I mean, that's going to do a lot to our taxes and stuff that people were bitching about. But they were going to go ahead with that, but then they found a certain uh, red-headed, uh, I could be wrong, but it's some kind of woodpecker. And because of that woodpecker, they put a stop on it. But now we got this shit going on. And how is this even possible? Here we go. This is the guy right here putting it in. He says for blueberries, but for the solar field. So, that's that. Okay, so this is an update. I was filming that. We had this whole problem with the solar panel, the solar, solar field for two or three years now. And the neighbors, they were making noise this morning with that uh, front end loader. Um, clearing trees. I go out, talk to the man, and, you know, he's talking about putting the blueberries in and possible working on that solar field again, and I blew up and went off, and 
I spoke my mind. Like I, I do. It's a free country, or it was up until now anyway, but... That being said, I kind of told them how I felt. Nobody in town, nobody on this street wants the solar field. We'll make sure it doesn't go in and all that bullshit. My blood's boiling. I'm getting pissed off. He was okay. I mean, he wasn't rude or anything like that. It was me. Because this is my town. This is my house. Right there is where it's going to be. So I go in. I talk to my wife. talk to the neighbors and... So anyway, oh, here comes the pig. He's going to probably knock over my camera. And the gnats are out. I'm getting bit up. Anyway, after I thought about it, my wife told me you can't be like that, especially in today's time. Uh, you can't speak your mind to get pissed off at people. And we do live here. He doesn't. He can leave. And we don't need any troubles here. So The pig is shitting in the driveway. Hey, Moo. He's pooping as he's walking. So I go over and I talk to the guy again. And be careful what you listen to in your town, what other people tell you. It always isn't always the truth. You need to get, just like getting information off of YouTube and people like my channel, other preppers, don't just take people's word for it. Do the research and get the truth yourself. We were told that this was like 16 or 18 acres or something like that back here. I forget the total acreage. But the whole thing was going to be a giant solar field. One of those giant, the whole thing was going to be a solar field. And the way they're going to be facing would be my house. The way the sun comes, it would be blinding us. You see, you pull out the driveway, you see it. Anyway, after talking to the guy, they're putting blueberries in and they, the original permit was for, or what they're trying to get a permit for now, is a quarter of an acre for solar panels in the back to run stuff for the production of blueberries. What that actually is going to be, I don't know. But I talked to him. He seems like a real nice guy. I shook hands. I apologized. And, you know, so it's going to be a blueberry field, which is fine out here. That's what we're known for, blueberries and cranberries not solar but if he put the solar field in the back and he said that if anybody complains or if it's an eyesore he'll plant trees he'll put up a fence he'll do whatever we want because i saw fences and they look like shit shit all over ground he said it'll be maintained and so after getting my information out there and getting information from him wow it got real bright everything seemed to work out and hopefully Everything will work out. So this is Pony Prepper Bill on my rant, my rage. And I took it out on somebody else that didn't deserve it. And hopefully he's telling me the truth. So this is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later.